hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am the Todd I am and we are still here in Creek Lore Zoo. Um, we are starting with our new DLC of the <coughs> Southeast, excuse me, Southeast Asian Animal Pack. Um, now I have been really excited about this pack since I got it. Um, I am digging the fact that we have eight new animals. Um, somewhat disappointed that we don't have new building materials to go along with it, new scenery, things of that sort. But the more I thought about it, normally we get all that with only four animals. So I feel it's a fair trade-off to get four additional animals that we would not have ordinarily have gotten. Um, and not have the building materials to get those four extra animals. So... You know, I don't, I don't mind it. I don't mind it so much. The more I got to thinking about it, I am really excited about using these animals. Um, I think they've done a, a fantastic job the way they designed them. I'm very glad that they redid the Benturong. If you hadn't seen the original um, release of what the Benturong looked like, um, it was not exactly um, up to par with what one actually looks like. Um, so due to um, all of us who play Planet Zoo and making our comments about it, the awesome people at Frontier fixed all that, so now I'm even more excited that we have animals that should look like they should. So, but in today's episode, um, we're actually building for the Binter, uh, not the Binterong, the Babarusa. Um, so, uh, honestly, I'll be. This week has been a struggle for me. I have had very, um, very significant creativity block. I've been. Um, it's been a weird week. I've been distracted. I haven't really had much creativity going on. And so I struggled a lot to try to figure out what I wanted to do. But I did decide to do the Babarusa only because it does not take a very large habitat. Um, it doesn't need a lot of things within that habitat. And so um, I thought that just because I'm having an issue with being creative and getting my larger exhibits and doing all this fun stuff with the terraforming and everything. Um, I thought that this would just be one of the good sort of um, relaxing builds for me, I guess you could say. Um, but what I've done with this, with this video is I have left in most of the struggles. I, did, I decided not to edit very much stuff out of this video like I normally would. I left in a lot of things because I feel that when we have people watching our videos, um, and when I say our, I mean by the content creators that are on YouTube, that we do edit quite a bit of the the stuff that we just don't want people to see, all the mundane, trivial, kind of boring things, really. But truth be told, that's that's how the game is played. And for somebody who's new at this game, they don't see that side of it. And so I really decided that, you know what? I don't want to take the time to edit all the nonsense out because even though that's the kind of content I want to put out there is a good, crisp, you know, not lagging sort of, uh, of a video, but it's actually true to life, how it really goes. And this wasn't a long build anyway, um, 30, 45 minutes, probably could have done it quicker had I actually had any sort of creativity whatsoever. Um, but the good thing is, is that it is a short video, so I was able to leave in majority of the garbage, if you will. Um, I obviously I did edit a few things out. You'll see it jump from one thing to the next, and most of it was just because I didn't know where I wanted to go with it, and it just took much too long to figure out how I wanted to do it, and that I was not prepared for everybody to see, just because they, you know, it wasn't necessary to be seen. Um, so. With these these pigs from Indonesia, I tell you what, these are something else. They've got these gigantic tusks, um, which actually just are canine teeth that grow through the roof of their mouth and out through the snout. Um, well, the males do, anyway. Um, and I, I was familiar with these animals, but not to the point that I knew a whole lot about them. So, did some research, and if you've done your research or have read about them as well, you may even have read that those tusks, when they start to curl backwards towards the skull, can actually penetrate and eventually kill the the Babarusa, which is kind of a horrible way to go, but I, that's, that's just the, the way nature has it. Um, but either way, a very unique animal. I'm very glad that Frontier decided to include this one because it's a very, very unknown animal. Um, 
But anyhow, so like I said, there's not a whole lot going with this this habitat. A few trees, a few plants, some terraforming. Um, but all in all, it's a simple build. But it came out nice. I liked the way it wound up, even though I was struggling quite a bit. And I don't really feel it's it's my normal type of build. It's just not uh, where I get a little bit out and left field and just kind of go nuts with how large the habitat is and adding more animals than they probably needed to and just going kind of ridiculous with all the plants and other foliage things. Um, but anyhow, um, I, I, do, I do like it. I like it a lot. I think it came out really well for what I wanted to do. It is over on the Asian side of Creek Lore, because uh, obviously that's where it belongs. Um, but either way, I hope you like this video. I know it's short, kind of, kind of, you know, jerks around here and there, but I hope you enjoy it. If you do, hit that like button down at the bottom. Uh, enjoy the cinematics here at the end. And as always, I will see you guys the next time we have a video out.